Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this time we're doing Cleric. We're almost done with all these characters until, uh, I guess, Ninja and Knight come out, so let's get started. You all know how we do it. We go down the skills and I post you guys the details of them and give you guys a little bit of information. Alright, like always, we're going to start with our basics. The co basic combo string is one two three all right let's talk about our basics the first attack of the basics is called smash smash has no debuffs or buffs to it now our second part is called side smash one two it has a buff and it adds on 30 percent damage now for our third part which is our final attack one, two, three. And that is called a vertical smash. Vertical smash comes with plus 35 healing. So it adds on to that heal, to whichever heal you choose. And it also resets the skill Hammer of Light. All right, now for our final skill of the basics, which is called Hammer of Light, which is not really a defensive skill, but it's an attack. This is actually a projectile attack, which is not affected by super armor. So with that in mind, you can use this anytime you get it up. And it's as a projectile, won't be affected by super armor, which means no deflection. Sends out a little hammer that spins around doing multiple damage as probably as large as the enemy and how wide he is. Now, it comes with a debuff, which the target loses 50% of its movement speed for 4 seconds, and, and any crits within the 2 second mark resets the skill. The skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. The next skill is called Zelic Smash. Zelic Smash is a little combo. Uh, the combo has no buffs or debuffs, so it's just a normal skill. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> Our next skill is called Healing Prayer. Healing Prayer is a healing skill. I mean, it does have healing in it, so... <laughs> healing Prayer is a healing skill, which heals you for at least 60% of your attack. And heals your surrounding allies that are, are in your party, not allies that are actually around you. They have to be in your party, in your group. And it also restores 200 of your SP to surrounding allies that are in your party. Remember that. They have to be in your party for these skills to work. Hey. And this skill goes on cooldown for... 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Hey. Alright, our next skill is called Hammer of Judgment. Hammer of Judgment is just pretty much throwing yeah. your hammer out in a boomerang. And it comes right back out to you. It does not have any buffs or debuffs. So, yeah, do keep that in mind. It's mostly for a ranged, and it is a projectile. So, you do not get deflected by super armor. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds, you can use it again. Yeah. Time for our next skill. Our next skill is a party buff. Ha. And this is called Severed Blessing. Severed Blessing is a party buff that adds on 5% attack to all surrounding allies within your party. This skill lasts for 180 seconds and goes on cooldown for... 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can use it again. Ha! For our next skill, our next skill is called Final Verdict. Ha! Final Verdict, believe it or not, is affected by super armor, so you will get deflected. But this skill does have a chance of stunning for 2 seconds. So even if you are deflected, you still do have that chance of stunning the enemy. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Ha! Our final attack for clubs is Heaven's Judgment. Heaven's Judgment is a dash attack. I don't have a target to dash to, 
So it's probably just gonna make me attack in place. Yeah, I don't have a target to, to dash to, so it's just gonna do that. So I will showcase it in right now. This skill does have a chance of stunning for 3 seconds and it goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds you can use it again. Hey guys that does it for the clubs and I hope you guys got a feel of that. So now we're going to move on to the Cestus. Oh god I f did not realize Hurdle was out this whole time. Yeah go away buddy. <laughs> anyway we're going to get down to the Cestus. So let's do that. Alright, now we're going to do the basic combo strings. Even this confused me a bit. One, two, three. Alright, the first part of the combo is called Pumble. Pumble is just a normal two attack. And it does not have any buffs or debuffs. Now our second skill is called Reverse Pumble. And this adds on 20 healing and 20 damage for 6 seconds. Now our final attack is called Triple Kick. Triple Kick does add on 25% movement speed and it greatly increases your attack speed by... Well, it doesn't really say... But it does last for 8 seconds. And it resets the cooldown for your defensive skill, Chi Shield. Next skill is called Chi Shield. Chi Shield blocks the next incoming attack and stuns the attacker and does equal damage to 180% of your attack. And this lasts for 4 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. Next skill is called a Roundhouse Kick. Hey. And this dashes towards a target. So as you can see, I stood in place because I don't have a target to jump to. So I will showcase the skill. Hey. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. The next skill is called Light of Truth. Ha! Light of Truth heals you and your allies that are within your party for 18% of your attack. And it also heals for 7% of your attack for every second. For 8 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds you can use it again. Ha! Our next skill is called Fist of Fury. Fist of Fury deals 90% of physical attack every second for 6 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> and this skill is called Mantra of War. Mantra of War is a party buff that adds 5% attack and 5% movement speed for your surrounding allies that are within your party. <laughs> this skill lasts for 180 seconds and goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can use it again. Next skill is a skill that only heals yourself, and that's called Yogurt Breathing. This skill heals you for 36% of your attack, and this is an instant heal with no casting. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Final skill is called Immortal Uppercut. As you can see, it charges and it let loose a combo. This skill does let you move while charging whenever it comes back up. Let's see, I can move, but the target I'm on, I automatically dash to. I will showcase this skill. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. So that does it for 
our little showcase for today. Now I'm going to be moving on to Scout, which will be our final class for now. So, thank God, we're almost done with this. Now I can move on to some other games. So, I hope this guide helped you guys out to see if you want to use Monk or not. So, I do want to say one thing. The gauntlets are deflected. All of their skills are deflected by Super Armor, sadly. I love this class a lot, but it has no projectile skills, so everything down this line is... Well, except for the buffs and everything, but mostly all physical attacks from this class, well, from this weapon here, is deflected. So that is one downfall of using Monk. It, it saddens me. I love this class so much, but that was the off point for me. But, like I was saying, hope this video helped you guys out. You guys always know how we end this. With a random dance. Oh god. What dance did I pick? Am I dying? <laughs>